Although Falcon Yoshi is not a matchup that I am very well versed in. So I'll have to be taking, definitely taking notes here from Gatsby. But yeah, you could, uh, Falcon's got really good moves to stuff a lot of Yoshi's nonsense. Not the double jumps though, he doesn't have a lot of multi hits. But he does have that, uh, that up here. Rising Falcon's pretty good. Or Falcon died. Ooh, very, very good time to wait to see if he was going to do anything on that platform. He actually didn't, but Gatsby wasn't quite quick enough to get the down smash out. You cannot shield in front of Falcon. He's got that throw that immediately will pull you out of it and do a decent amount of damage. Falcon kick to cover a lot of space. Falcon Dive didn't land, but he landed on the platform to save himself. Gentlemen to get Yoshi off stage. Where do we go from here, though? Back to neutral. Back to off stage. Back here, not quite landing at ledge. Waiting for the roll and up smashing, though, will take it. Great DI on that up smash. It was also a great choice from Raptor to up smash. That was a great up smash. It just didn't quite kill. Forward throw. Egg doesn't land. Falcon keeps his air mobility. Text the stage. Down smash didn't work. He landed on the platform. We're going to see back throw. Yup. Air dodge in. Keep the jump. Get back to ledge. Rise. Falcon dive did not connect to Yoshi. I know exactly what Gatsby was looking for there. But Raptor knew as well, and he didn't let it happen. Raptor Boost is a great choice because those stars that come out from Yoshi's down B are hitboxes as well. Raptor Boost will get through all of it. It's got that armor when it actually starts to move. It starts doing the uppercut. Ooh, a little up air string here from uh, Raptor. Getting a decent little bit of percent. Up smash hitting through the stage. The Nair is coming out really, really... Nair is such a good tool against Captain Falcon. A lot of his moves are decent startup, or they don't hang out for very long, so Nair is a very good way to combat all of that. Very good air dodge at ledge. Will Gatsby make it back? Not quite. He got his jump stolen from him at, at ledge. Up smash, not quite going to land. That was two. Falcon dive not working either. Gatsby seems to be uh, a little rattled, not knowing, not knowing what he really wants to go for. But that down, that down B will take it. Falcon kick. He just flies forward the foot. Ooh, good roll. That's a shield breaker if it lands. Damn, he just, it's so unfortunate to see that because if he B reversed it, it would have landed. Those small little things like that. Shield is a Skittle, but he's not done yet. That was very good not mashing air dodge out of uh, out of the egg. They gave him the time to act. There's the B-reverse upbeat, like I said before. Ooh, he knew he would wait. But not quite gonna work. Are we gonna see another up smash? No, he gets back thrown. Into knee! He's dead. Very, very good quick move from Gatsby there. That's one of the uh, that's one of the craziest things about Falcon is he all he really needs is either one good read or like a Nair one confirm and he can just kill you if you're about 80 or over. 60 if you're a small enough character. Zelda? Okay. Yoshi, back to Yoshi. But yeah, we saw we saw Gatsby struggling a decent bit with the matchup there. He didn't fully know what to do the whole time. Because Yoshi is such a hard character to play against, especially when you combo as much as you do. Yoshi can just jump out of it. So what do you really need to do? You need to change up the entire routing of all your combos, keep them short, and then wait for a double jump to read. So he's playing much more he's playing a, a fair bit more reserve. I don't know what that Falcon Punch was though. That had to be had to have been a missing for I can't believe he would just randomly throw out a Falcon Punch like that. That's a lot of confidence for one minute. There are the star hitboxes that I was talking about earlier, too. See, he was going for it, but that double jump 
that armored double jump you can just get out of most of Falcon's combos. Oh, shield break. And the taunt. That's not... That's not kosher, man. I don't know. You might be awakening the beast here. There's another back air. Ooh, not quite landing. Yoshi does have his jump back, though. Falcon kick kills off the top, though. Very, very good ledge trapping from Gatsby. Only taking... Not even getting hit for that entire... To take that last stock. Not letting Raptor get any extra credit for that. <laughs> Sorry, but I had to sneeze. I don't want to sneeze on everybody listening. I'd love to hear your drums like that. Back to this game. Very, very difficult neutral for Falcon to navigate. He has to really pick his moments. Whereas Raptor can basically keep the same game plan he goes with normally to win these games. Of course, they're both adjusting and making reads on each other like that, right? The jump back, down air into uh, stage, stage confirm me. That's a classic Falcon combo. And you need things like that. Short combos that kill if you really want to get at Yoshi. Because Yoshi can just jump out of all your long stuff. And if he ever gets in danger, it's just Nair out of shield. And that's such a good option against Falcon. Ooh, he went for the Falcon dive to catch him at the last zone, but it didn't quite work. That back air is going to land, but not going to kill. Ooh, very good parry into roll. Knew he couldn't get any... Knew he wasn't going to get anything real off that parry, and that Yoshi was probably going to keep uh, hitting the jab button, so... Sat down and just said, you know, I'll just roll out. Make it play it safe, play it safe. Gatsby's Falcon Kicks are always so well-timed. That up here's going to take it, though. Not quite, actually. Not at 141? Really? Jeez. This is a lot heavier than I thought. Nair will, though. Yeah. There it is. Gatsby continues into winner's semis.